Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Stu and this is Velocity Valley for Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic, part 16 of the Mayan SOS scenario pack. Three mountains in this valley can be used to make a theme park with a thrilling coaster connecting them. You are not allowed to build directly on the sand. Your objective is to have at least 1,600 guests in your park at the end of October year three with a park rating of at least 600. So we've got a giga coaster in the park then. Huge giga coaster in the park ah there's the entrance then decent stats on that only charging five pounds so we know then that we are charging for rides this will be free um okay we didn't have no there's no photo section on that so we're going to want to we're going to want to look at that and maybe make it block section as well um just in case i'm sure it's safe enough but you can't be too sure um so we got quite a quite a big chunk of land then here on oh, more for an enterprise as well and a couple of shops we've already got a large chunk of land and we've got some underground paving as well so the pathing might cause us a bit of an issue. Um, so I think what I'll do then, when I when I go to place in workers, um, I'll zone mechanics, but I'll leave most of the handymen roaming around, but I might zone them in in trouble spots, like probably by the enterprise and uh, by the exits to any any nausea inducing rides would be a good a good thing to do um so we've got a couple of transport rides decent selection of gentle rides not a bad selection of coasters to begin with um good selection of thrill rides some water rides splash boards will be handy um and a good selection of shops um not a huge amount of food variety though so i think i'll put i'll put some uh put my research into shops so we get some food so we haven't got enough food variety so we might end up getting something like worst park food um if we haven't got that much variety um i think it's at least four different types um okay so we've already got some rides down i'm gonna i'm gonna have a quick play with the giga coaster i want to get a i want to get a photo section on there put it to block breaks as well um maybe rejig the entrance and exit i think if i just put the path going underneath part of the station that'll be a really easy way of boosting the excitement um and also running this path underneath the track as well be a nice quick way of boosting the excitement a little bit um and then put down some flat rides as well and just see where we are april year one so i've added a photo section to the giga coaster i've also added a couple of little boosters now they're on they're not set to very quick but maybe about 36 miles per hour something like that so it's not really quick enough to give the train a boost unless it gets stuck in this section here and what was happening is when I was testing the course, and let's see if it happens now actually. So we'll go in, we'll make a change, so we'll toggle this so it resets the stats, and then we'll test it again. Oh, hang on, there's a tr okay, so let's, let's try. We'll do that, and then we'll open it back up. Right, there you go. So you've got the train there. For some reason, the train is stopping there, and then when you go to test it, it was coming down, wasn't making it up over the section. And then it was getting stuck but with these little boosters it just means it makes it up over it so i'll paint that just wanted to highlight it for there um i've rejigged the path for the enterprise added down a lot of toilets and kiosks and things around the place everywhere pretty much where there's like a junction or or a corner or something like that and then i've rejigged the paving for this can't show the excitement now because i've just reset it i can show that later though so i think what i'll do now is i'll carry on building the flat rides 
I just wanted to show you that little issue I had with the gig coaster and a quick and easy way of solving it. October 1, just over a thousand guests in the park. We need 1600, so only 600 to go then, and we've got two years to do it in. So I've rejigged the gig coaster 9.46 on the excitement just by making a couple of little changes, like putting the pad in underneath the station and putting the pad in underneath this track as well. So we've currently got it running on three trains with the block section. It does stop up by here every once in a while on the block breaks, but other than that, it's running pretty cool. I've got loads of food down. So we've got Best Park Food Award. Um, so that'll give us a nice boost in the guest numbers. And we've got then loads of little flat rides as well. So we've got a Ferris wheel, carousel, a couple of pirate ships, a tiny mini golf just there, just a single hole. 2.82 excitement. Yeah, there you go. Let me show you this little weird thing I spotted. So we've got three guests on the on the course, two on the right, or three guests on the right there. Two thinking about it. But then when we go to this section here, click on station one, player. So maybe that always displays. I don't know. That's weird. Just something I noticed anyway. Um, so that's that for this section. And then over here then we've got a twist, a haunted house. And we've got the Enterprise that we saw earlier with a little boat ride. Just down there. Not bad excitement for something really small. Benefiting from a little bit of the splash scenery and also having the roller coaster interacting with it as well. Yeah, so I'm, I'm quite happy with how we've gone uh, so far. This section is not a huge amount of land over here. So I've just crammed a load of um, motion simulators and top spins just over here. Might uh, put some other flat rides over here as well. But there's not a huge amount we can do really. Um, the course has taken up a lot of the space. I can show you as it's just. So the coaster is traveling 41 just to show that the boosters don't really do anything. So as I said earlier, they're only there in case it stalls on the retest. Yes, I'm, I'm happy with, uh, with the start we've made. Um, I'm going to put my research into roller coasters. Um, what I like, what I, or what I'd like to do, this little area here, I'm going to leave this empty for as long as I can. And then towards the end, I think if we're struggling for guest numbers, what I'll do is I'll have some shuttles just in this area here, some small coasters. Now we've got a limb coaster just there, but they don't add a lot of guests to the park. So I don't really want to use those. Um, I could probably do something with a twister. Um, but I want to see if we get something. Something else. So that's just something for me to look at. This space up here, I'm thinking a splash boats. But um, yeah, I'm going to see how, see how we get on. See what we can do in year two. June year two and we've got 1300 guests in the park but I've noticed the guest numbers are flatlining so there's a few reasons for that but one of the more obvious reasons is harder guest generation so the theory is that that's enabled on this park um, so the easy way of testing it is I've already built this course to here and the ride length is only 1,840 feet. So if I extend that coaster to over 2,000 feet, the excitement's fine as it is. If the guest numbers don't go up, then it's not hard to guess generation. So it could be something else. So I'm just going to extend that and then we'll test it out. August year two. So I've extended the coaster then. Just comes around. This little section just down here. So that brings the total length up to two and a half thousand feet. And well, it's not flat laden anymore. If anything, it's going down, but it's pretty much the same. So we know it's not hard to guess generation. Otherwise, they'd start coming in in their droves. Um, so it's probably 
that we're either charging too much or we haven't got enough rides down we just need to put more rides down so I think one thing we can do is we've got ATMs in the park so we can put start putting a load of those down maybe reduce prices on some of the rides in order to keep guests a bit longer but um, I think a combination of ATMs and more rides should do it quite handily October year two, we've got just over 1,400 guests in the park. So I put down a lot of ATMs, didn't really do much. Tried reducing some of the prices, that didn't really do much. So I just put it down a couple of extra rides, a couple of spiral slides just there, and somewhere near the entrance. There you go, a little observation tower just there, and the guest numbers are going up. So all we need to do then is start adding some extra rides. Earlier on in the year, the guests were starting to get the palms are starting to get a bit crowded so one of the one of my favorite solutions for overcrowding is the splash boards because you can fit so many guests on the ride i mean this one doesn't even look that full and yet we've got 12 in the queue 121 on there so it's nowhere near at capacity we've got 28 boards if it was a bit longer we could probably get the 31 but um 28 times 16 that's a huge amount so most of the boats are very low capacity at the moment so hopefully as the park gets busier this will start taking more guests off the paths but already it's made a huge difference hardly any any guests on the paths at the moment so we only need 200 guests to go then so we've got the splash boats just over here over here we've got the flawless coaster as well i showed you earlier it did look better before i added this section at the end but i added that just to test the length corkscrew coaster cool i did say i wanted a um some sort of shuttle and um, we can do something with that so that's great news Okay, so I think then a few coasters in the middle and we should be fine because we're doing all right. We're only a couple of hundred off. We've got plenty of rides so far. A few coasters and we'll do this scenario quite easily. October 3, 2100 guests in the parks. We're going to smash the goal. The only thing that can stop us is my rating is tanking. So what that's due to is it's too crowded in the park. So what I've done is I've just set my splash boats to free. So I'm hoping that'll get enough guests off the paths that um, there'll be less people complaining about overcrowding and we'll pass the scenario quite happily. So let's see, has it has it made an effect? We can run it on fast forward just to see if it goes up a bit. The rain isn't going to help. So hopefully once the sun comes out. There you go. Sun's out. Rating's starting to go back up. Okay, so just over here then we've got a couple of twisters. So it comes out of the station. We've got some boosters and then it just goes up. So I've turned the, the laps, the number of laps up banana number of circuits up to five that's the the highest i can do without it going over 10 they'd probably still ride it anyway but um i want to get as many people in the queue in order to get them off off the paths and then we've got the corkscrew coasters just over here so this is what i had in mind earlier um so a chain lift going up and then dropping you underground and then coming out of the cliff because I, I realized i haven't used the space in between i wanted i didn't want to use it too much i just wanted to add a little thing so we've got a couple of corkscrews there so i did ask my son to name a coaster and he said killer b so that's why i've got the gone for the yellow and black design for them so good stats on them and they're not too quick as well so What's happening there? 
Now there could be an issue there. That could be an issue as to why we've got a problem with overcrowding. So let's turn off the peeps. If I delete that section there, no let's delete that section there could well be that little bit there was confusing people yeah it's probably they're trying to get over to the exit yeah i bet that's the reason i bet that's why people are complaining i'll leave that as it is for now only another week or so to go okay so what do we come what do we do then we came in and there was a gig coaster going all the way around the park so we added a photo section to it but the problem was when we opened it back up um the coaster was getting stuck let me see if i can find it such a huge coaster there you go so it was getting stuck because it was restarting here and it wasn't having enough speed to complete this so i just added a couple of boosters there not fast enough to make a massive difference to the coaster but but quick enough to give it a nice push over the section so it can complete the track from there then just added a lot of flat rides just around the place um when i came to adding this coaster here in year two i noticed that the guest numbers were flat lining so i thought initially that could be because there's a harder guest generation so i extended the coaster up over 2,000 feet but that didn't do anything to the guest number. So that tells me then I'm either charging too much and I'm taking the guest money before um, quicker than new guests can come in, or I just haven't got enough rides. And as it turned out, I didn't have enough rides because as soon as I started putting new rides down, more guests started to come in. Um, no one's going on this ride. Let's make it cheaper before we finish the scenario. Drop them both down to five. They were happy enough to pay 10 when it first opened, but at the moment they're not willing to pay the extra. And it's Halloween, so we are going to pass the scenario. Got a little helicopter ride just going around here, interacting, and we've done it. Ooh, fantastic. Where is it? Nice three excitement on that. So I've split the stations with this one. So it just means that guests can load on one and unload on the other. So it should help throughput a little bit better. Um, I've got the maximum waiting time down to zero seconds. So it should just come in and go out. If there's Even if there's no one waiting and the splash boards have broken down. So I'll have to sort that out as well. What's happening with the mechanic? unable to find it so that could be because one of the issues that you've got with this sort of scenario because you've got um parving in different levels that it might be an issue or maybe i've just forgotten the zone yeah there you go so that one's all down to me i've forgotten the zone one just on that section there so that one's my fault but one issue that you do sometimes have with these is because you've got parving on different levels sometimes so if for example one was here he might try and get over here and he's not going to realize that he needs to go up and then across so that's that's one issue that you might have so i am still this was velocity valley if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye